my channel i hope all of my beautiful my handsome tours out there are doing well all right you guys this is going to be your twin flame reading if anything resonates for you don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel also comment let your girl blue flame know what's going on if you're interested in a person or anything else you need to know about me will be in the description box below okay all right tours let's go all right you guys so this third party wants to let you know that you don't know you're a divine masculine, okay? They're saying you don't know this person like they do, okay? So for some of you, this person would be like a handful, and maybe you thought this person was one way and they're really this way, okay? But I feel like this third party is trying to convince you, like you really don't know this person like you think you do, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, tell us more. What do my Taurus need to know? Messages for my Taurus on this twin flame journey. Okay, so Taurus, they need this person to provide for them financially, okay? So your person is dealing with someone, okay? They could be married to this person. They could, could have been with this person for a long time, okay? But I feel like this is more of the energy of them being married here or they have some kids involved. But they really just want this person to provide for them financially. So I feel like there is no love, you know what I'm saying? They don't love this person. They don't want to be with them. But as long as they're getting a check, baby, they want, the, they want a piece of it, okay? Ooh, okay, and this is someone who will transform themselves into whomever they want them to be, okay? So for some of you guys, this person, this third party knew that you were their divine masculine, I mean divine feminine, right? So this third party could have tried to, like, be an imposter, tried to give them, like, a watered-down version of the divine feminine, okay? They were, like, copycat, and they were trying to be like you, trying to be this divine feminine energy because they were just trying to transform themselves into whoever that your person needed them to be, okay? Oh, wow. Okay, I think it's time to reach out and let you know who I am, okay? So some of you guys, this third party thinks it's time for them to reach out and let you know exactly who they are, okay? And this is someone that could dibble and dabble with spell work from time to time, okay? So this is what this person could have did to keep your person stuck, you guys, okay? This could have been someone, like I said, they into black magic or doing all that type of BS, you know what I'm saying? And it was like this person was doing it, either trying to keep your person bound to them financially so that they will always take care of them financially, okay? They just could have been keeping them stuck so that you guys can come into union, okay? Or come into reunion. Messages for my Taurus, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Taurus on this twin flame journey. What messages do you have for my Taurus, Holy Spirit? What is it that they need to know at this time? I love you, Taurus. If anything is resonating, don't forget to like this video, okay? But this third party is realizing, like, shit, maybe this connection they share with your person is toxic, okay? Some of you guys, your divine counterpart was very toxic. And it was because they were involved in this toxic connection. Like, they were probably used to being around toxic people all the time, okay? But maybe the third part is like, dang, you know what I'm saying? This connection I do share with this person, like, it is toxic as hell, okay? Maybe someone was trying to convince themselves, like, nah, this was love. Like, this ain't, this is how you act when you're in love, okay? But they realize, like, nah, this is what you do when you're in a toxic situation, you know? That ain't love when you busting out people's windows and, you know, acting dog on food all the time. That's not love. That's toxic. Okay, so this, okay, so some of you, maybe you have faith that your person's going to change. They're not going to be toxic. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. But this third party saying, they don't know why you got faith in your person because they feel like because they've been dibbling, dabbling in this field work, doing whatever that they can to keep this person stuck, that they're always going to change, that they're always going to choose them. And that this person is never going to change, sure, okay? Messages for my Taurus, Holy Spirit. What do they need to know? <laughs> for some of you guys, this could have been like a one-night thing. Like, maybe this wasn't like a, a relationship you shared with your divine counterpart here. It was more like a fling or, you know, a little situationship, okay? But this third party is saying he's mine. He or she is mine. Y'all take it how it resonates. 
You may have had them once, baby, but I got them all the time. I'm telling you, they feel like they got them all the time. Because it's only black magic. If that's the only way you can keep somebody, then that's not having them all the time, okay? I don't understand what's so special about this connection, okay? So for some of you, your person still stuck on you. Like, they haven't gotten over you, okay? And I feel like this person can sense that. This third party feels your masculine, maybe, like, thinking about you. Maybe they can't sleep at night. But they feel that somebody else is on their minds here, okay? And they don't understand. Like, I feel like because they've done this, this black magic, you know what I'm saying? They've done whatever they can do to keep you guys from coming together, to keep this person's focus and attention off of you, but still... It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not working. This person is still thinking about you, okay? And they don't understand, like, what the hell is so special about this connection that you share with Taurus? Ooh, for some of you guys, they don't even have sex no more, okay? So this is definitely a marriage here. Or this could be, like I said, they can have kids together. Maybe they share a house together. But they ain't having sex, okay? When they don't reply to your text, they're with me, okay? For some of you, maybe you were wondering why, you know, you were here from this person at some point in time, and then all of a sudden, you stop hearing from them, from them, okay? They start replying to your text. They stop answering your phone calls. It was because they were with this third party. Messages for my tours, Holy Spirit. What do my tours need to know at this time? And for some of you guys, they were only running to you when they were having problems with this third party, okay? So as long as them, them and this third party was cool, everything was fine, this relationship or this marriage, you know, this person didn't talk to you, they didn't reach out, you never heard from this person, okay? But as soon as they had problems with this third party, they went and ran to you. Messages for my tours, Holy Spirit. What do my tours need to know? Hold on, tours. Let me go get that. All right, Taurus, that car that flew way over there. What did I say earlier? I would keep him stuck for as long as I can. They feel like doing this black magic, doing whatever it was. It's going to keep this person stuck. But they don't understand. I'm telling you, they thought what they were doing was going to keep this person stuck. But it's not working. And they don't understand what's so special about this connection. Why your person can't move on. Why they can't get over you, okay? For a lot of you, your person made to play mind games with you, okay? Play with your mind and your heart. And it was because they were projecting on you. Because they played mind games with this third party. They did it to each other. So this person thought it was cool to play mind games with everybody, okay? And this is someone that's saying their mother has a strong influence on their decisions. That's why I'm still here. Wow. So for some of you, this person really don't want to be with this karma either. But because maybe they... You know, like this with their mom, or they have like a strong bond with their mom, or their mom has a strong influence on everything that they do. You know, they're influencing this person. Like, go on and stay with this karma, go on and work it out this third party. Like, you don't need to be with, with tours. You don't know what's going to happen with tours. Like, and they're listening to what their mom has to say, okay? Let's get one more. Messages for my tours, Holy Spirit. I love the tours. But look, they don't think. This third party knows, okay? They, they don't think this person wants them anymore, okay? And I feel like they could be talking to their mom about, like, hey, you know, I think this person's trying to go to tours, you know what I'm saying? Like, talk to your son, talk to your daughter. Like, I don't think they want me no more. They want to be with this other person. We ain't having sex no more. We ain't doing this. We don't do that, okay? But this person's saying they know how to get what they want, okay? So I feel like regardless, this person feels like even though this person doesn't want them anymore, they feel like they always get what they want. If they want to keep this person, if they want to be with this person, if they need this person to provide for them financially, that they going to get what they want, okay? That's exactly what they're going to get. All right, you guys. So let's see who this reading is about. Let's go to the who did. Messages for my Taurus. Let's see who this reading is about for my Taurus. Let me show, shuffle this real good. Messages for my Taurus. Who is this reading about? Now, Taurus, I can be describing you in these cards, or I can be describing your person, okay? Y'all take it how it resonates. All right. Who is this reading about for Taurus? Taurus, we have freckles, okay? So you or your person can have freckles. All right, Taurus, we can have this to be someone that has big hands, someone that has crooked teeth, someone who has straight hair. Messages for my Taurus. Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? Taurus is about somebody that's thick and somebody that's light complexion here, okay? 
All right, let's get the signs. Who is this reading about for my Taurus? Taurus, we got Aquarius, Sag, Virgo, and Taurus. We got Pisces. Let me roll this again. Heavy Pisces, Sag, and Capricorn. We also have Taurus, Libra, Cancer, and Virgo, you guys. All right, Taurus, I love you. And until next time, baby, stay blessed.